The young of all Trishal bird species are dependent upon their parents for food to support their astonishing growth rates. For instance, the offspring of this mountain tailor bird must be fed enough to gain seven times their hatch weight in 12 days in order to fledge. Avian parents of Mount Kinabalu Park in Sabah, Malaysia meet this voracious demand in a variety of ways. The majority of songbird species in the park feed their young insects, including this velvet-fronted nuthatch and this acracious bulbul. This female bulbul is attempting to feed a cicada to her nestling, who is begging vigorously. Parent birds respond very strongly to begging stimuli. Gaping, when the nestling opens its mouth wide, begging calls, head shaking, and even mouth color act as signals to the adult that the nestling desires or even needs food. Adults respond so well to begging stimuli that they will willingly feed nestlings of other species, even if that nestling looks vastly different from their own. This mountain leaf warbler is feeding an enormous Sunda cuckoo fledgling, a brood parasite of Southeast Asia. Still other species breed cooperatively, where groups of individuals will feed nestlings at the same nest, even though the young are not their own. These are chestnut crested euhenas, a cooperative babbler species that often have four to five adults feeding, but have been observed to have as many as 10 individuals at one nest. Insects are not the sole food exploited in the park. Rivering specialists, such as this Bornean forktail, frequently feed fish, aquatic invertebrates, frogs, and other less easily identified metamorphic stages. It is truly incredible the size of food that nestlings are able to ingest. However, sometimes parents must employ a bit of problem solving. This Bornean whistling thrush has brought an entire snake to the nestling and senses a problem. What is a whistling thrush to do? This whistling thrush leaves with the snake, cuts it in half, stores one half, and remarkably, brings it back later. An interesting example of problem solving and another fleshy hurdle surmounted. Other species ingest food and regurgitate it for their offspring. This is a favorite tactic of nectar feeding birds, such as this male olive back sunbird, and also of fruit eating birds, including whitehead's broadbills. This female brabill stores fruit in a specialized muscular pouch called a crop. Whitehead's brabills feed an astonishing number of fruits. Seeds from at least 26 species have been found underneath brabill's nests. Nestlings eat the fruits whole and regurgitate the seeds later once they have digested the meat. This mountain imperial pigeon, a football-sized denizen of the canopy, feeds its young crop milk. Pigeons feed on fruits and produce crop milk, which is an excretion high in fat and protein that the nestling drinks until they can process adult foods. Just another fascinating feeding tactic of adults at Mount Kinabalu Park.